WCAO finale at JB Murphy Field on the campus of St. Ignatius. The undefeated Sierra Padres and the 6-1 in league Wildcats was fire. You have to be there to understand fully, but we'll do our best to show you how intense this game was. Opening kickoff, Washington's take a make. Jackson Lataimua rocks the house with a forced fumble. Two-time GSF playmaker Damon Lewis got the pigskin and it took and took it inside the Wildcats 10. So we got a turnover off the bat. A couple of minutes later, SI got it back. Fumble on the exchange. Jay for Snipes had his eye on the ball from the snap. And up comes. Teddy Buchanan and crew. Teddy's a game changer. He set the tone early, making sure the Padres defense worried about him more than anybody and got everyone off their usual game. SI conquered their way 96 yards towards the Padres territory and wrapped it up with this. Buchanan to Danny Ryan for the first touchdown of the game. A seven yard strike, seven nothing, SI after one. Second quarter, Buchanan would strike again. This time a 22 yard, what is that, a fade? Doesn't matter, Ryan with the grab. His second connection with Teddy, 14 to nothing. Wildcats at the half. Third quarter, Sarah got on the board with this. Latai Mua from the running back spot, takes it in. 14 to seven, Padres finally on board fourth quarter by this time it was noticeable that what SI wanted to do and that is to control the clock make the Padres defense wait and think and it worked Buchanan dissected the defense anytime they needed first Ryan's there and if he was not he'll either run the ball or dump it to his running back with less than two minutes left Sarah got a stop also blocked the field goal and here's the conclusion fourth and ten from their own 13 sophomore QB Dominic Lamkin decides to take it himself First down, and that got the Wildcats defense thinking now. Next play, Lampkin to LaVille on third and long, up the middle, first down catch by LaVille, that looks nice. 120 left, third and goal from the sixth, Lampkin to LaVille. Touchdown Padres, 14 to 13, and here's the extra point, Lewis, automatic of course, but with the penalty after the kick was called, the Padres of course went for it, why not, right? I love this. This is real football right here. You don't play the tie, you play to win. St. Ignatius took the challenge and prevailed. What a game. On senior day, the Wildcats put a ding on their rival Sarah's record to finish off the regular season with a share of the WCAL title. 14 to 13 is your final. So exciting. We've been working for this for a long time. It feels so good to beat Sarah on our senior day. So much fun. Talk about your quarterback and how he managed that offense. Uh, he's, he's so good. He continuously plays hard and he fights on both sides of the ball and he gets us first downs and whenever we need him, he comes up strong. <laughs> on the playoffs, baby. Let's roll. Get Sports Focus. It's brought to you by First Place Inc. Diamond Quality Service. And by Ike's Love and Sandwiches. Championship level sandwiches every single time. Moving on to our game of the week, the Gun Titans, all 17 of them, took on a herd of Mustangs. It's senior night at Homestead High School. That's our GSF Warcat 7-on-7 seven seven wide receiver and cornerback Harold Rucker the third. Two-time all-tournament, by the way. If you want to roll with our squad, early registration is happening right now. Go to GetSportsFocus.com or DM us on social media at GetSportsFocus. First touchdown of the game, we've heard a lot about this young man, Jared Wade is a playmaker. Touchdown, Homestead. 7-0. Second quarter, Gun Titans. They were solid this year. Leo Yi with the hit stick. Ooh. Mustangs, they mean business, though. Wade with his second touchdown of the game. He is solid. 14 to nothing, Homestead. Next drive for the Titans. That's Richard Jackson for the touchdown. Gun cuts the lead, 14-7. But on the ensuing kickoff, here we go. Harold Rucker III. He chose prime time to describe his Homestead football experience for the past four years. And he looked like prime time right here. A 93-yard kickoff return for Rucker III. And it's 20-7. Homestead. 
By the way, GSF Super Lineman Ken Erlin was out for this game as well because of a knee injury he suffered against Cupertino last week. Tough game changing loss for the Gun Titans. But hey, they kept playing with 17 guys. Next drive for the Titans, they got the ball all the way to the nine yard line, the Mustangs nine yard line, and with 140 left on fourth and in inches, QB sneak looked like Aiden Everett got it on forward progress, but the Zebras ruled it different. Coach Miller asked for a measurement, but got denied. And this was the turning point in the game because on the very next play, Harold Rucker, the third, took the reverse handoff to the house. See ya. 27-7 homestead at the half. And that was the back breaker pretty much. Third quarter. One more for Rucker. And that made it 35-7 homestead. And with a score like that, we got to give a shout out to the defense. Gunn is a high scoring team. And Chuck Rack got himself a sack. Actually, a turnover. Next drive, how about someone different? Ryan Scooter with the carry to the corner. 42 to 7. Homestead got this. Fourth quarter, Gun Titans running back eight in small year. Wasn't about to go down without a fight. Two touchdowns for the first year player meaning this was his first time playing football after moving to Palo Alto from Israel and he balled out with over 1,400 rushing yards to lead the league. But this is the game of the week and we need an MVP. With three touchdowns and over 300 all-purpose yards, just this game, Harold Rucker III takes the iconic shirt. 42 to 21 is the final. Leroy the Innovator was in the house Friday night for the post game. Interview. You feel me? All right, five, last love. Hey, what's up, G7 University, man? Leave the internet coming to you live, delivering behind me. I got the homestead Mustangs with a big one over gun. Make some noise, baby. Absolutely. All right, all right, that's enough. Hey, we'll get straight to some interviews. All right, first, who do we have? Where is Jared? Number eight to get Jared up here. Where's Jared at? Where's the man at? Where are you at? Oh, there you go. Absolutely. We found him. Get him up here. All right, man. Hey, senior night, man. You are a senior. Can you tell me what does that mean to come out with the dub tonight? Hey, it could have been our last game. We we knew we had to get a win. If we won tonight, we made playoffs, so this isn't going to be our last game. Absolutely. We yes. Want to, want to play again. Absolutely. Hey, man. So, long game for you tonight. Yes, I'm good. I got to thank my coach over there, Coach Fernandez. Hey. <laughs> thank you, Coach. Yes. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Coach. All right, man. So lots of plays for you tonight. Can you tell me what stood out for you to what you guys were able to take advantage of against the defense today? Against their defense? Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Long list of things. Yeah, it's true. You? Well, we watched, we watched a lot of film on them. Just about every day we were in the film room, watched a lot of that with coaches. We saw all, their, all the holes in their defense, saw, I don't know, we just, saw, we just knew what plays to run. As you can see, we ran the crap out of, where is he? Him and Harold 21, those two got the ball a lot of times, and that worked well. Absolutely, that is factual, man. Hey, well, you guys came out the win tonight. I got an award for you, my guy. You are the play of the game, watch it! Yeah. Yeah. I got a t-shirt for you, my guy, as well as, hey, go ahead and hold that up for him. A free ice gift card. Woo! Yeah. Sandwich, my guy, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, hold it up for the camera one time, you feel me, so they know who you are. The playmaker of the game, you feel me? You did. Absolutely. All right, all right. Who is next? Where is Rucker? Bring Rucker up. Here's number 21. Oh! We found him. All right, it's good. Man, we are late in the season, bro. I see they got you running the ball. Can you tell me what it takes to be a healthy running back this late in the season? You know, uh, you just got to make sure you got a line like mine. You know what I'm saying? They block all the time. If you're blocking everybody, it's easy when you got a line like them on your back. So we good. Absolutely, man. And also, man, can you just speak to what it takes to be a leader on offense for a team like this? You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep everybody motivated, even when you don't score or anything. You got to keep everybody motivated, make sure we're always ready to score. So it is Ab what it is. Absolutely. It is what it is, baby. Hey, man, I got a word for you. You are the MVP of the game, my team. for you, my guy, and a free ice gift card. Hold that up, you feel me? Flex for him one time, you feel me? Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, and with that, that wraps up Guess What Show's interviews, everybody. Who's going to break us out? Let Jared do it. Get Jared up there. Who are these Who are